Hello, it's Travis Edwards with another mental check. Take a shot of your positive vibes. Let's go! So today, uh, welcome to another mental check. Today I wanted to talk to you about something that uh, stops a lot of us. Yesterday we talked about, we talked about decisions, right? And uh, sometimes we do not make decisions because we're in fear, um, because we've kind of been taught that fear is a bad thing. Fear um, can be a good and a bad thing, depending on how you perceive it to be that way. And so today our focus is on fear. And why, um, for most part of your life, and even in my life, it has been controlling me. Um, Because fear is, fear is, uh, again, uh, a lack of understanding of fear um, and what it does to your body and your mind um, and how it impacts your physical reality is very, very important. And so today, our focus is on fear, but we need to understand some concepts first. And so um, as I mentioned before, that we have three planes of being, thought being the highest, um, highest potential, intellect being the, the middle potential, and your physical is your lowest potential, your thing, the, the things that we have is on the lowest potential. So um, we, every single day, we have energy, thought energy flowing into us, and we can basically reason with it and either form a negative or positive thoughts. So Let's put it this way. Fear, where fear comes into play is that say there is a business that you want to start or someone wants to get involved in the business or you have in your head that maybe one day you want to quit your job and travel the world and do that, uh, uh, you know, that, do that for the rest of your life. But you entertain the negative side of this thought. And it, what I want you guys to really, really understand, it doesn't really matter you are every single day, you're taking energy and either turning it into positive or negative, right? So I'll give you a good example. When I first heard about this coronavirus and I have an in-home personal training company, I said to myself, ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Then I caught myself immediately and said, ooh, this is a big opportunity because now I get to transform and flip my business and maybe create another source of income so that when my in-home personal training, come, uh, in, in-home personal training um, aspect comes back, then I have even more sources of income coming in. So you have, the, you have the absolute potential every single day through thought energy to basically transfer something to positive or to negative. Now, let's just say that you entertain a, the negative side of your brain. What's going to happen is that's going to put you into a negative vibration So when you entertain negative thoughts or fear, that is that is basically going into your subconscious, your your subconscious mind, and it must express into your body, in your vibration, and you will not act out of fear because you entertained a negative idea, which is you know I cannot get involved in that business or I cannot do, uh, or I can't live out my dreams, you start to get entertained, worry, and doubt. And let me give you another example from my life. When I wanted to leave the corporate world to run my business full-time, oh my goodness, when I tell you the amount of worry, the amount of fear that was encountered in my body, it was insane because I had been been doing, doing certain things a certain way for my entire life. And when I started entertaining this idea, Definitely worry and doubt came into my mind. It's like, can I make enough money doing this? Is, is, how am I, am I going to be able to sustain this for X amount of years? So it's going to happen, guys. You have to really understand. This is where ignorance comes into play because we don't understand. We're not going to see everything in our physical reality. It's not going to make sense right away. When we get into a, a different vibration or a different energy, we're dealing with things that your conscious mind won't recognize. It's not your five senses that are going to help you. It's your intellectual factors, which I talked about before. So once you start to worry and doubt, then what you do is you keep entertaining that. You basically subconsciously become fearful. And this is where fear comes into play. So subconsciously now, you have fear in your mind because maybe in the past, you weren't successful with running a business before or you weren't successful at doing what you wanted to do um, 
then you, you've developed this thing called fear. And what happens is when fear is entertained for so long, it passes into the body in a form of anxiety. If you've seen it, and you might know someone that has ex- it suffered from anxiety, it's because they have fear about something, they've suppressed it, they get anxiety, and when you, dep- when you suppress anxiety, you get depression, you get disease, and you get dis- disintegration in your body. So basically, and that's when people start to take pills and things of that nature because they really don't understand how powerful their mind is and because they've entertained the negative side the negative side of thought energy. This is how powerful this is, guys. I really hope you understand. So consciously, you entertain worry and doubt. Subconsciously, you basically keep impressing that worry and doubt. That becomes fear. It, it turns into anxiety. So you now are not even moving. Now you're really, really worried. You suppress that. That becomes depression. Then you create disease in your body and that causes disintegration. And if you guys, and trust me, Go look around somewhere and ask people or if you're just someone that you know, they've entertained this exact same process. But on the other side of fear, or the, on the other side, you have the polar opposite, which is called knowledge. It's basically knowledge. Hold on, let's make sure you guys get this. It's knowledge and understanding. So right now, what you guys are doing is you're educating yourself. You're educating yourself on how the mind works. And because you have, and the more that you start to understand this and you understand how you function as a person, then things will change for you. But it really starts with knowledge and understanding. So basically, when you know or understand how the mind works, you develop faith. You have a belief that everything works out. And it doesn't come right away, guys. I, I don't, I don't want to say this comes right away, but it, it takes time. But it's through study and you know that What's going to show up at your door? I I want to tell you guys this. As soon as you entertain a new idea or you make a decision to go after your goals, there's like almost like a wall that will jump right in front of you and say, and and you're going to be like, whoa, I don't know if I can get through this door or I I don't know if I can get through this wall. But it's through knowledge and understanding, knowledge and understanding and study that you're able to have faith and knowing that this wall is supposed to be here, but I need to go through this wall. And when that happens, when we understand and we we develop something called faith into our subconscious mind, we develop what you call well-being. And when that's expressed, you have acceleration. So you start to move faster. You're at ease. I hope you guys have felt this in your life before where you just feel free. Um, Right now, I'm in the most free time of my life. I, I have no worries right now. I'm basically not worried about what's going on in the world. I feel at peace. I get to spend more time with my kids at home. And I'm accelerating. My speed at which I'm doing things is much faster than even the beginning of this year. And what I'm doing is I am creating every single day. I'm creating different things, coming with my ideas are free. And so this is what happens, guys. The polar opposite of fear is knowledge and study and understanding. The more that you study this information, the more that you understand yourself as a person, the more that you will, the more that you will win. But it takes time. The last thing I want to leave you with is this. You know that there's absolutely brilliant people out there, people that have been educated with degree upon degree upon degree. And for some reason, they're not winning in life. Then you have a person that is completely illiterate, doesn't know, doesn't, hasn't completed school, yet they're winning in every single area of their life. Please explain to me how that works. It's because they understand things about themselves. And that's what that's the difference. You guys know there's things that you should be doing and things you're not supposed to be doing. It's really up to you every single day to choose the two sides of, of your of opportunity, which is ignorance. So building fear, um, worry, and doubt into your mind, creating fear, which causes disease and disintegration, disintegration in your body. Or you have the ability to, through study, hearing information like this on a daily basis, develop faith, develop well-being, and create and continue to create like your creator has taught you to do. So I hope that, guy, guys, I really hope that was Paul for you today. But you really under, you need to understand that fear is not a bad thing because on the other side of fear is knowledge and understanding. What we really, under, what we really lack is knowledge and understanding, and we have to become more aware. Once we become more aware, 
we're unstoppable. We realize that and there's nothing that really can stop us. Even if we have a bad day, we can flip onto the positive side and turn it into a pop, into, into a very successful week or months and years to come. So I hope that was very, very powerful for you guys today.